In front of me, you see the internal components that make up the main armament, the weapon system. Two pounder fitted to the Matilda. A number of jobs that some of the things do, and I'd just like to take you through them. First thing to notice is it's not all brand new and shiny. Uh, what we wanted to do was uh, retain uh, the original finishes on the metal. We didn't want a brand new gun. We wanted to um, maintain its age uh, and show it um, in a realistic light. And what I'll do now is I'll just take you through some of the um, components and a brief explanation of what they do. Um, so starting with this big lump here, uh, this is a recall system. Um, any uh, tank has to contain uh, the violent forces that are unleashed uh, when the gun is fired. And, and they do this with a, um, by absorbing the recall energy as it's fired and then returning the gun to the fully run out position once it's fired um, so that it can be uh, used again. It's also important that you maintain a fixed length of recoil. So depending on whatever nature of ammunition you fire, uh, you don't end up um, with a gun coming out of the back of the turret. It does this using a recoil buffer, which is in the center, and return springs, which are in the tubes either side. Just here we have what's called the um, semi-automatic cam. On this particular vehicle, you can select it or deselect it. And the job of this is to make sure that when the gun does run out, the breech is uh, automatically open so that the next projectile can be um, put inside it. Talking of the breech, here it is. Lovely little piece of engineering. And this is the means in which uh, the uh, projectile is put into the barrel and then subsequently fired. And it also has a job of containing all of that energy uh, um, when the shot is ignited. This is a vertical sliding breech. Um, very um, lovely design, uh, very simple to operate um, and works very well. Um, over here, this is just a shoulder, another example of the leather work inside the vehicle uh, that's been restored. And this is um, a shoulder rest for the gunner while he's looking into his sight uh, carrying out an engagement. Once the gun is fired, the empty case will come out the rear uh, through the breech and that needs to be deflected. Um, and this is the uh, means in which that is done uh, so that it doesn't rattle around the turret too much. Or the other part we should mention, of course, is the barrel, uh, which is at the end of all of this. Um, interestingly, on this particular vehicle, the breech screws all the way up um, into the end of the barrel. On a lot of them that I've seen, they have what they call interrupted threads, so you only have to move the breech through 90 degrees and it'll come straight off. Um, this one we had to unwind all the way, um, which was um, obviously a bit of a problem because we, as we got near the end, we didn't know exactly when it was going to drop off and we had to be ready for it. Um, the barrel, um, nothing really much to say to that. Big long pointy tube, rifled in the middle. This is very simple. This is just going to be stripped down to its uh, metal finish and repainted uh, the original colour of the exterior of the tank. What we're doing now is just putting some sealant on the join between the mantlet and the turret. This will prevent any water uh, getting between the join and rust forming. I've put the mantlet in, the barrel and the breech block and now you can see it all it's in, in its entirety uh, together with the machine gun. Uh, the way the machine gun would work then firstly, cock it, pulling the whole trigger mechanism to the rear and then using one of the two firing switches, this time the one on the right, we pull in on the trigger and the working parts are released. The main gun then is operated by use of this breech mechanism lever, you pull it down 
it'll open the breech. The ram would normally go in now, and this would have the action of closing the breech. Uh, however, because we have no rams, we'll do it manually. Breech is now shut, and then using the left hand of the two firing switches, um, we can firstly push forward on the safety catch, and then allow those working parts to go forward. The gun would obviously go off, Recall will now take place and then followed by run out. As the gun's running out, there is a cam on the left hand side of the breech block that would engage in a camway. And as the gun goes forward, that would have the action of reopening the breech, ready for the next round.